they have made something that was potentially benign tremendously suspect by not disclosing it. And for you who believe that this is something that should not be disclosed, here is the exact reason why it should have been disclosed. Because had it been disclosed on Friday, then her passing out on today, on yesterday, would have made instant sense. No one would have questioned. No one would have said, oh, my God, Hillary has X, Y, and Z. And the, that has been the problem with Hillary Clinton's campaign the entire time. People are demanding that she has a level of privacy that has become a liability to her campaign. Not only a liability in the sense that it's undermining her campaign, but it's a liability in the sense that it is making everyone, and I guess this is another form of undermining, but it makes it difficult for people to trust even what they say now, right? Like, if they had said on Friday she had pneumonia, then on Sunday we would have been like, damn, she passed out. She should not be out there with pneumonia. But because they want this level of secrecy, not only do we question whether or not it's pneumonia, but it allows people to question everything they say. Because if it was, if it was something, and I, I've, raise your hand in the audience if you've had pneumonia. Raise your hand in, in the audience if you work through pneumonia. And I'm not saying that pneumonia isn't serious because people die from pneumonia, but pneumonia is not rare. And people work and walk with pneumonia, walking pneumonia. You know, people have it and they work. So it's not as though it was something that ever needed to be hidden. And, and that's the problem. If you lie and deceive us on simple things, how can you, and yes, at this point, in the bigger scheme of things, the fact that she got diagnosed with pneumonia is not surprising, nor is it a big deal. What's surprising and a big deal is that you withheld that information to your own detriment. And because it's par for the course for all of the other suspicions that people have about the Clinton campaign in the first place, about the Clintons in general, and about all of the media uh, heads that surround her and demand that she be allowed this level of privacy as though she is not allowed to be questioned by the public, even though she is clearly a beneficiary of what the public has given her. So my problem is not, I'll, I'll go with it. She has pneumonia. Fine, let's go with that. Again, until I have something solid to, to actually challenge that, I'm going to go with it. Fine. The problem, again, must be reiterated that once you have gotten to a level where you can't be truthful and forthcoming, more than anything else, forth, just tell the public. Because, yes, the public has the right to know the health and well-being of a person that they are getting ready to entrust the entire nation to for the next four years. And that's one of the biggest things that bothers me is that all of a sudden we are we are demanding a level of secrecy of someone who is going to have the biggest impact in our lives over the next four years. I mean, we screen people for part time work a little bit harder than that. I mean, we screen hopefully you screen relationships a little bit harder than I mean, just temporary. I'm not talking about marriage. I'm talking about just temporary dates like just, you know. But I know we, you know, some of us live kind of wild on the wild side. We don't, we don't screen, you know, everybody. But you, I mean, this is somebody who's going to have a major impact on our lives for the next four years. And you're acting as though we don't have the right to ask how healthy is this person? No. Not only do we have the right to ask, it's our duty to know the mental and physical well-being of a person who's going to manage our nation for the next four years, potentially eight years. And 
and then later on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a segment called Hypocrisy Now. Because not only is that something that's reasonable, that's something that Democrats were asking back in 2008 and in 2012. And for the life of me, I just don't understand, and I don't want to tip over, kick over my, my bucket, right? I don't want to steal my own thunder, but I don't understand how you could look yourself in the face, in the mirror, and say today something is wrong that you demanded four years ago, eight years ago. If eight years ago it made sense to ask about the health of a presidential candidate, then today you should not in any form or fashion be demanding that we not ask about Hillary Clinton's health. And that's all I'm going to say about Hillary and her health. They should have been forthcoming. And by not being forthcoming, it makes us question everything they tell us about her health.